Meantime, researchers in a race to save dying coral off Florida's coast. Seven's Alex Browning is live in Virginia Key with their plans. Alex. And Lynn, in response to those hot temperatures, corals begin to bleach, essentially purging the algae from their bodies, their nutrients. And luckily, these corals here that have been uh, rescued and relocated have yet to do that, but we have heard reports of massive bleaching events and die-offs in the Florida Keys. If these temperatures continue, we're expecting to see a lot of these corals starting to die. After the dip, if you see these on any corals, we are going to separate them. And that's why it's all hands on deck at the UM Rosensteel School's aquaculture facility on Virginia Key. You go to the beach, it feels a little warm. It's not the worst thing for you, but coral, they, they really can't handle that. It, it's stressful, and the way that they respond to that stress is by bleaching. The mission saved what's left of their coral nurseries following record rising temps in the ocean. These are uh, staghorn corals. Uh, these are endangered species that were collected from our nursery trees and have been transported by one of our teams. Uh, and they will now be placed in our temperature control systems here on land. The relocated corals are first cleaned and treated with antibacterial medicine and then hung row by row in a temperature controlled tank for now. We're bringing about 10% of our stocks from the uh, in water nurseries, the ones you will visit on Friday, uh, ahead of the uh, of the impacts of the uh, warm temperature. One of the species, a rare breed found in shallower reefs. That's one of the main reasons why these species are so hard to find normally outside of our coral restoration sites um, because they're so sensitive to those high temperatures and high light. What I find scariest about this is it's only July. You know, it's, it's just come August and we're already getting these record temps. We've got August, we've got September, where we're anticipating it to get even warmer. A bleak forecast ahead, threatening more than just an ecosystem. Our food supply, we're looking at our coastal protection. So all city infrastructure in Miami is at risk if we lose these corals. And so researchers here at UM have been working for nearly a decade in hopes of developing a more heat tolerant species or breed of coral here for our area. We're on Virginia Key, Alex Browning, 7 News.